Hello, welcome to Healthcare Journey. This channel is about the path to becoming a full-fledged attending in our careers and beyond. And I have so much to say about each phase, but at this point we're discussing gaining entrance into medical school. So that really first beginning steps. And we've been focusing on what is what are some great characteristics of an awesome portfolio or an application into medical school. I've been highlighting attributes for each video and they're just things for you to individually think about. So, you know, how can I differentiate myself from all the other pre-meds out there, right? That is really the challenge to become something that's attractive and eye-popping for that admissions reader. Today's characteristic is innovation, creativity. <laughs> Whoa! How the heck do you show innovation and creativity on a application, right? I mean, we're just, I mean, how much how much can you really show that? You know, we're not engineers here, and um, so let me. <laughs> Let me just explain it for a lack of, you know, being able to form more questions. So medicine is constantly changing, right? There may be, you may think of innovation in terms of treatments or uh, new protocols, right? For treating patients, like, in the, for example, enhanced recovery pathways for surgical patients. That's a very relatively up and coming topic. It's not new anymore. It's now becoming standard of care. But I'm not talking about that because that's not something that will be expected of you on a medical school application. You simply don't have the clearance for that or the licensure to really do that. So what do I mean then? Well, in terms of being able to see things in a different perspective, different light, which is different, and how can it be different? Because it comes from your eyes. That's what makes it different. You know, you're talking about a specific patient's case, and you can see that, well, the, you want the reader to see that the creativity is coming out. So different ways that you can reach out to patients, different ways that you reach out to the community. That is what I'm talking about in terms of creativity. What about innovation? Well, there's lots of different ways that you can get your two cents in. For example, you're in an office with the, do the primary doctor, let's say you're shadowing, and you saw an opportunity for patient flow, patient management to be better. You know, let's say you were noticing, you know, a difficulty with patients getting their lab results in and you notice you wanted to find out more about that you know what's your pathway of getting things done you really tried to reverse engineer do some root cause analysis and see where improvements can be made where things could be streamlined in the office not everyone gets that kind of opportunity but these are the kinds of things where if you really if you did something like that or contributed or became a part of a team for that kind of process how awesome is that you know how different would you be and how much would you really learn from that possibility you know this there's just so much you can say about participating in a project like that for example in my MBA program I designed with my classmates an entire patient flow model for a free clinic in uh, the area of upstate New York you know they were asking our help to be essentially consultants and give them ideas for this and see where you know we could streamline things give them ideas for forms for patients to fill out forms for administrative staff etc I mean, that's the kind of thing where you really get knee deep in the dirt and you understand and learn. And man, I had so much to say about that on my interviews and my applications, you know. And that's what made me stand out, you know. But it doesn't have to be so huge, right? I mean, just in terms of you may find that greeting people, the way people are greeting people in an office, or the way you greet a patient is an innovative, innovative way to be, make the patient more feel at more at home. Excuse me. Um, you see, because maybe you find that um, 
patients are waiting for a long period of time and you can see an opportunity to do that. I mean, I'm very interested in patient flow as you can tell, but there are so many ways where you can, you know, maybe decorations in the waiting room. Maybe that's your way of trying to be creative, um, getting patients to notice certain bulletins, um, certain information packets with regards to their conditions, etc. I'm just kind of rambling at this point, but this can make you so different from other applicants, which is what we really want to achieve here. Because when you have that piece of creativity, innovation, it really shows the person reading your application that you're mature. You want to continuously learn. You want to continuously improve. And quality and continuing education, these are all hot words in medicine today. And we want to stop the old-fashioned doctor who just is stuck in their own ways and doesn't do or pay attention to the current techniques, um, current data, and practice changing guidelines. Um, and these are the kinds of things that we want to show that uh, reader. We are up to date with these things. We are wanting to, you know, make adjustments, you know, make uh, not necessarily concessions, but we want to adapt and make the patient's conditions better for a better quality of life for our patients, whether it be maybe even for longer life expectancy, etc. And you can see where my the essay of the application is kind of already coming out of my mouth as I speak here, you know, and this is the kind of thing where you insert that it makes you unique. Um, so we'll get into more things like, you know, what can make your application, your personal statement unique. But right here, right off the bat, you can see how that can really be worked into your background, your interests, and make them, make you stand out and make your application get thrown into the yes interview pile rather than the maybe or wait list, right? Feel free to ask me questions. You know, maybe you'd say, maybe you'd wonder if a certain characteristic can be made into, you know, can this activity or can this characteristic be made into something advantageous for the medical school application? I'd be happy to entertain those ideas and see where, what I come up with. Because really, anything about you is something worth writing about. You know, we. We just don't want to get into the habit of saying, I like medicine because I love taking care of patients. You know, you want to open that book that has that title and see where the nitty gritty details, what is behind that motivation to become a physician. That is what we're going after here. And so a lot of this seems common sense, right? Like my last one was on compassion and stuff. Like, duh, of course you want to feel like you have empathy, sympathy, all these things for patients, but where it's got to come from something deep inside, you need to show that. All right, well, this is it concludes the discussion for innovation and creativity and bringing that to the reader's attention. I hope you have a good one. Good luck to you and take care. Bye-bye.